Hey guys, it's Dan, the Retired Broker. Today, I want to give you five ideas to grow your book of business as a financial advisor. These are some of the things I did that really worked and probably a lot of you aren't thinking of. This is basically all going to revolve around seminars. Yes, seminars, the lunch and learn seminars. Even though I hate that phrase, but your lunch seminars. So basically, here's how it's going to work. You need to get about 10 to 15 people, preferably couples, to come meet you at lunch or after work for a light dinner. These seminars, what you're going to do is you're going to present to these people. You're going to pitch them, lightly pitch them, explain how you work with your clients, explain what separates you from other advisors and what you specialize in. Here's the first one that I'm the only person I know that has done this and it worked. Do a health and wealth seminar. Health and wealth. What you're going to do is you're going to partner up with a local chiropractor. Chiropractors are going to be different than a lot of the other medical professionals. They run their business a little bit different. What you're going to do is hopefully you can do it at their place of business, at their office but offer to provide a healthy lunch or healthy snacks or something of that matter. You're going to be promoting their firm as well. He's going to be speaking about the benefits of chiropractic. You're going to be speaking about the benefits of preserving and growing wealth for generations. It's a win-win. If you can get 10 to 15 people to this seminar... I guarantee you, you're going to close. And what you do is every couple of months, you do one of these seminars around town and you build relations with the restaurants or the other business professionals in your area. Here's another one, personal trainers, health and wealth. You and a personal trainer rent out a room in a restaurant, 10 meals. That's all you need. It's not going to cost you a lot. If he can get a client for personal training and you get one for financial planning, that pays for your meal plus. So health and wealth is the first one. That worked really well for me when I was in the business. Here's one even better. Mutual fund and annuity wholesalers. They will pay for everything. Who do you do the most business with out of all your mutual funds? He will pay for the lunch. He will get up there and speak and promote you and his funds. You don't have to do anything. Just get the clients in there is what you need to do. That's the toughest part. But if you have a sign at the restaurant that you've built up relationships with, next Wednesday, free lunch for the first 15 people. Sign up, name and number. You call them, you qualify them. Hey, I see you signed up for our Lunch and Learn. It's me and Franklin funds or whichever it would be, XYZ funds. Are you currently investing now? And you start asking them open-ended questions. Or asking them questions to get to the point. What's your current account at right now? Do you have a 401k? Blah, blah, blah. Qualify them. Free advertising at the restaurant because you're buying 10 to 15 meals. Plus the mutual fund wholesaler is going to be doing the whole seminar. He's going to be speaking and he probably does this every week with other financial advisors, or he should be doing that. That's what I saw a lot of uh, mutual fund wholesalers doing when I was in the business. A third one is just a solo seminar. This is going to be the toughest one because you're going to be up there speaking, paying for everything yourself. You're going to be running the whole show. But a solo lunch seminar, when you're just in direct contact with a small group of people, you have their names, their numbers, right after the seminar and or the next day. You call the whole list. Thanks for attending. When would you be free to come in? Book the meeting. This is to get the meeting to get the clients to write the biz. So it's seminar, names and numbers after you qualify them and verify. You do the seminar, you book the meeting immediately. You can even call them that day, call them that night. 
Thanks for coming in earlier today. I really appreciate it. Let's get together within the next couple of days. Is Tuesday or Wednesday better for you? Here's a good one. As I mentioned in my previous videos, I did a lot of work with attorneys. A seminar with lawyers. You pick the lawyer that you're working with. You should have a couple across town. You do one with each of them, spread across town. Remember, you're doing these seminars at least once a month. On top of cold calling, cold walking, asking for referrals, doing anything you can. But you're meeting up with an estate planning attorney. And the topic at the restaurant is going to be something like preserve your money so the government can't take it when you pass. Or make sure your money passes directly without the government hand in it. Something like that. But something to get the point across that if you don't know this, the government's going to take all your money. Or how to retire without the government taxing you at 50%. Something like that. So you and your lawyer are talking about preserving and passing this wealth down and making sure it's protected against creditors, lawsuits, and the government. Now, the last one but not least is a company-specific 401k. Learn the secrets to General Motors 401k. Today at our Lunch and Learn, first 15 people get a free lunch. First 15 people employed at General Motors get a free lunch. This should be the easiest one. You go to where the headquarters, Procter & Gamble, Cincinnati, General Motors, Detroit, wherever you are, I know the Midwest, but wherever you are, you qualify them. Oh, you work at GM? They're going to come in with their badges anyway. Call them, qualify them, see what they do. Are they engineers? Are they janitors? Are they executives? But this is a learn the secrets of your 401k presented by Dan from XYZ Firm, 401k expert, retirement planning specialist. If you have a designation, Dan, certified financial planner at XYZ Firm, company-specific seminars. You can do those month after month. And I guarantee you, you're going to find people in that company that have an old 401k from their old job that they never rolled into their next one or never rolled into an IRA. Even if they have an outstanding IRA, get it under your management because you're the expert of their 401k. You're the expert. You have to get this through. And these lunch and learn seminars are some of the best ways to do it. You're giving them free food. You're giving them what everyone wants, a free meal. What are meals? 20, 25 bucks, maybe a couple hundred bucks. If you have a partner, you split it. That's nothing. You should be doing this at least once a month. So implement these. Find what you are an expert at. Find these people you can partner with. The attorney the health and wealth, the chiropractor, the personal trainer. You need to partner with these people, become experts in the firm, and this is a way you can grow your book of business. Go for it, guys. I know this is going to work. Leave your comments below. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks a lot.